Here we go. Sweet. Hey, what's going on? YouTube, Twitch. Uh, I think that's about it for now. Anyway, without further ado, welcome to the Kyle X the Light Show. How you doing? It's good to be here. For those of you those who don't know this show, um, what is the Kyle XLA show? And Kyle X and hey, a banner just pop on top of my head. Is basically some guy who wanted to do a, a show after doing grocery store shopping carts, like pushing shopping carts at my job at a grocery store and he decided to do his own show. So, that's basically what that show is all about. Now I'm just playing. Um, now, I wanted to do this show because it's something I want to do for the rest of what I wanted to do. And I always wanted to do it for a long time, just for fun. I'll just play around, whatever. Anyway, I'm Kyle. For those of you who don't know me, I also fixed and built computers for 20 years. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment below on YouTube or on the side if you're on Twitch, whatever. Don't matter. Like, comment, subscribe. So, let's get started. Um, a lot of things to talk about. Uh, what's going on. Christmas is coming up. That's next week, I believe. And um, just got back. Picked up my few pay vacation paychecks. Nothing really much, but yeah, it's my than nothing. Anyway, there are a couple of things we're gonna do for fun today. Um, first off, what the show's all about, which we already just did that. Then we're gonna show you um, what how to protect yourself from the internet and how you can prevent yourself from getting a virus and what anti-infection softwares I use to protect myself from viruses and I'm gonna do a let's play at the end which is pretty much gonna be like 15 to 20 minutes whatever um, so the internet the internet can be a bless and a curse for those of you who don't know where that came from you ever play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas when um, I think it was Smoke, that big guy that you see in the beginning of the storyline for that game? Um, yeah, he said that the real world's a bless and a curse. Same thing how the internet works. So, I'll show you some things about the internet that are truly astounding. So here we are on the internet. Basically, um, this is my desktop. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. So it's pretty much all the anti-infection softwares I have just for the hell of it. Now, I actually use these more often than any other type of free or paid antivirus softwares out there. And there's a lot of them. But the ones I use the most is Malwarebytes. I mean, this will not be the only program you can use to protect yourself from viruses and infections and stuff like that, but this is the one I use the most, and it's helped me a lot from just not just viruses, but any type of malware software out there, or to explain what that means in English, just infections that it protects you from your computer for those who use Windows. I mean, I'm not going to disappoint the Mac users out there. Of course, they have ant of of course they have viruses for any software that you throw at. So, um, you know, you got to protect yourself. This one is Microsoft Security Essentials. Now, this is on all Windows except Windows 8. Windows 8 uses what's called Windows Defender, and already already installed on your computer. So you can use that to protect yourselves from viruses and it's free and it's made by Microsoft. You can download it, no subscriptions, and for people who use Windows 8 
you can set this up through the control panel go to where it says Windows Defender uh, Windows 7 and other Windows before it has this as well but again it, they changed the name from Microsoft Security Essentials to Windows Defender in Windows 8 so I use that and I've used an older version of SpyBot Search and Destroy which can protect yourself from spyware crapware I call it crapware just for the hell of it so I got search and destroy now there's also a new version called 2.0 which is okay but I kinda like the old version better because you got all the simple features here you don't have to navigate through all these menus and stuff immunize is a thing where it protects your computer from pop-ups even if you cleaned your computer from spyware so that's what it is. Unfortunately, you have to run that through administrator. If you don't know how to do that, you right-click a program to open up a program. As you right-click a shortcut, doesn't matter. You hit run as administrator, and you hit yes. But since I'm already in it and I've protected this computer before, I don't really need it. You got updates. You know, always update your programs. Always. And, uh, yeah. So, there are other ones out there, but I use Malwarebytes, Microsoft Security Essentials, and SpyBot Search and Destroy. It's probably best to recommend you run this in Administrator to make things easier. Otherwise, it'll yell at you with a pop-up. And you probably know what it means when you try to run things with a pop-up. Like, it will tell you to run it in Administrator. But, it's pretty easy to do. Just right-click click run as administrator on the program that you're trying to run and um, you should be good Hit yes and everything else you'll be fine so um, well I actually went by pretty quickly so I do have a let's play of Super Mario Brothers arcade so let's get started so I put that Bear with me as I try to set this up. It's been a while. Duh. Ah, there we go. All right. And this is actually the arcade version of Super Mario Brothers. Notice it says versus Super Mario Brothers instead of uh, Super Mario Brothers on the regular Nintendo. So, play around this. Screw it. Mm, do I really want to get the coins? Yeah. Oh, whatever. Everybody knows this game. play the whole thing, I'm just gonna like keep playing and playing. By the way, I don't know if you know this, but if you try to at the end of this stage hit that little Oh, he's not even here. Probably in the next couple of stages where you actually like stomp on this shell at one of these stairs that we just passed and you'll get unlimited lives unlimited uh... one-ups for those of you who uh, haven't tried it yet I'm sure on YouTube you'll find it the other videos on how you do Again, that little... there we go I've played this game since I was, a uh, was, how old that? Nine years old? That was a long time ago. I was like, 
eight years old at the time. So some people like punch through there and then run through all the way there, but oh, I can't even go that down. Oh, whatever. They go like this. But that's kind of like cheating. That was close. There we go. I knew that was there. There we go. And some people just like run across over there, but I'm not gonna do that. There we go. So yeah, the arcade version is pretty much the same thing, the only one difference is the time limit is much faster. So if you're trying to get more score in the arcade version, you got hurt. I mean, this is meant for competitive gameplay. But, you know, it's pretty much the same exact thing as Nintendo Entertainment System console, or the NES, nonetheless. Gotta get that coin. <laughs> yeah. Don't like to be greedy, but this is Mario. He always gets coins. And babes. It happens. It happens. There we go. You know, there was also a Mario game on the Wii U that's just like this, but a combination of all the Mario games in one. It's basically um, Super Mario 3D World, as far as I recall. I mean, I don't have the Wii U, but I've seen other videos about it, and I thought it looked pretty cool. I wish I had the Wii U, but I'm trying to conserve money at the moment. Right now, this show's run on paper clips. That's what's. Ah, oh, Jesus. The show's run on paper clips. So, one step uh, at a time. Jesus. So we're going there. Ah, there. There. Ah, Jesus. Bear with me. I haven't played video games in a long time. Last time I became a gamer, I was. Um... Jesus. Must have been a while. No. I was a gamer, and then I stopped playing when I was in college, because I had to catch up on a lot of work. I was a full-time student. Alright, let's be just done before we end this show. Well, this episode at least. Come on. This is the first stage, and I'm already getting my ass kicked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky bounce. I'll just go like this. Oh, that was humiliating. Oh, that was. That's. I'm not giving up. Not giving up. That was no excuse. And I had to start from the beginning. Well, at least I can catch up on all my mistakes. Gonna go flip Bowser one more time. Ah. So yeah, um... I've been a game with before. Just, it's been a while. At school, work, but, you know, it's always good to come back to these games like this. It's always a refreshment. And I've already beaten Mario before. I mean, I've been through all nine worlds. World by world.
I'm actually not playing on NES control, I'm playing on PC control, as you can see. I don't know if you can see. There we go. You know, I'm not even getting the coins, I'm just gonna go straight to Bowser. Just for time constraints. Nah, I'm just getting the coins. No cheating this time. They always say that cheating can only be fun if you already beaten the game. Like, if you beaten the game, you're free to cheat. And there's no one stopping. Nowadays with games, you can't cheat anymore. There's no cheat codes or anything like that. Maybe in a few games there are cheat codes. But not all games. Um, I think Bioshock Infinite passes Konami code or something like that. But with those of you who play Bioshock Infinite on a few a few months ago when the game came out. But that's all that's the only game I know that uses cheats. I mean correct me if I'm wrong. Tell me in the comments. And that's another thing. I'm gonna be looking at the comments after this video. And for those of you who missed the show, I'll be uploading it to YouTube. So, you won't miss anything. This is being recorded and live at the same time. It's pretty cool. Now I'm finally up to Bowser's Castle. Obviously, it's not the end of the game. I mean, it's only World 1. You know how it is. Alright. Let's not screw up this time. Oh, you got the shit. Alright, I'm not getting too risky. I think the fire's about to come here at any moment. No. Yep, there we go. Oh, you sneaky. Ah. That was just unfair. Alright, try to No more screws. There we go. Alright. Do not screw up. There we go. Oh! Come on. Come on. Won't go nice. There we go. Yeah, yeah! Finally! And that probably concludes the end of episode one. Next week, it'll be a different game. Well, I'll come back to this eventually. So well, that's pretty much about it. Follow me on Twitch, YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. And I'll see you guys next week, December 26th. I'm going to be talking about viruses in depth. I mean, in English instead of being technical. I'm going to be um, showing you guys how to not get a virus without using an antivirus software. It's a neat trick to it. And there's also um, Pac-Man next week. I'm going to be doing Pac-Man on the arcade emulator and stuff. I got emulators on this computer. Sooner or later, I'm going to get a capture card. So, anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next week. And have a happy Merry Christmas. Take care.